Welcome back to DIY My Way. In past videos, you've seen me solve the problem of how to carry my chainsaw out into the field. It started when I added a chainsaw scabbard to my carry-all. Then when I customized my ballast box, I added one to it. Then I finally wised up and added one to my tractor, and very soon after that upgraded it to a Thaw Hall Pro-Grade Scabbard. Then when I got my Polaris Ranger EV, I needed another place to carry a chainsaw. And once again, Saw Hall to the rescue. It so happens that when I made the video on the Saw Hall Pro-Grade Scabbard upgrade to my tractor, Kenny Finley, the CEO of Saw Hall, saw that video and he emailed me and invited me to work with him on a future project. So I mentioned I was interested in buying one of their chainsaw carriers for the Polaris Ranger. After a few emails back and forth, he offered to ship me one to try out, and that's what we're gonna do today. Let's take a look at the Saw Hall Complete Kit for Polaris on their website, curehall.com. The kit is compatible with Polaris' lock and ride system on their Ranger and General UTVs. The price of the kit with a solid black scabbard is currently at $129.99, including shipping. It can be ordered directly from the Sawhaw website or from their Amazon store for the same price and free shipping. There are links to both in the video description. If you prefer to have the Sawhaw lettering in a color to match your tractor, then for $5 more you can choose from blue, red, orange, or green. One important thing to note is the scabbard only comes in 20 inches for this kit, but Kenny tells me longer scabbards will be offered soon. If your chainsaw bar is longer than that, then the Saw Hall's complete kit for ROPs and man lifts can attach to your UTV's ROPs and is available with 20, 28, and 36 inch scabbards. An advantage of this is that it will work with most UTV ROPs. A disadvantage is your chainsaw will stick out past the side of your UTV, so you have to be mindful of clearance as you careen through wooded trails. The kit for Polaris comes well packaged in a box that looks like this. It includes a heavy duty pro grade scabbard. I chose blue which best matches my Ranger's color scheme. This is their newly redesigned scabbard made for their new and improved saw hall bracket. It is 20 and a half inches long by five inches wide. The inside gap is three quarter inch wide which should accommodate most any chain width. In fact, since my chainsaw has a low profile narrow kerf, this wide opening allows the saw dogs to fit in the opening as well. That's great because I don't have to worry about the saw dogs wearing down the top of the scabbard. The top cap is a quarter inch durable plastic and it has a couple of holes for tools. There's also a box with hardware which I'll open in a moment. And the surprisingly heavy duty quarter inch thick laser cut lock and ride adapter plate. I'm not sure it needs to be that thick, but there's no doubt that it has the strength and rigidity to hold a chainsaw securely. The box of hardware includes the nuts, bolts, and washers you'll need. The mounting bracket, which is part of all saw haul kits. And the installation instructions, which cover all saw haul kit installations. Here's the section for the Polaris kit. Finally, a saw haul decal. But this kit doesn't include everything you need. You'll need two Polaris lock and ride anchors, which will cost about $40 for two of them. Unfortunately, these cheaper short ones aren't long enough or strong enough to hold. I know because I tried them first since I already owned some. The Polaris OEM anchors are available from leadersrpmshop.com for $20.99 each before shipping and taxes. I also found and decided to buy this set of two Super ATV lock and ride compatible tie downs on Amazon for $39.95, including free shipping, and they work great as you'll see shortly. There are links to both options in the video description. So the bottom line is the total investment for the Saw Hall Polaris kit is about $170 if you don't already own a set of compatible anchors. 
A couple of modifications I made to my Super Ray TV anchors was to remove the D-ring since I didn't need them and bevel the top rubber stoppers to make them easier to push into the saw hall lock and ride adapter plate. It's a tight fit so the bevel helps out a lot. And you don't need many tools to assemble the saw hall. Either two 916 inch wrenches or better yet one 916 inch wrench, an impact driver with a 916 inch long socket. The saw hall bracket mounts on the adapter plate at four different angles. To assemble the saw hall, I found it easiest to temporarily mount the adapter plate to the cargo bed. It doesn't have to be very tight for assembly. Take a bolt with a washer on it and put it through the top hole for the angle you want. Put the bracket on loosely to leave room to put on another washer and get the nut started, but leave it loose. Now insert a bolt and washer on the bottom hole for the angle you want. And again, put a washer and nut on. Hold the bracket with one hand with your thumb against the bolt head and snug up the nut with an impact wrench. Then snug up the other bolt. Now use a 9 16 inch wrench to hold the bolt heads in place while you tighten the nuts up. Next, get the nylock jam nut started on each bolt, which is a little awkward but still doable. Finally, tighten up the jam nuts with the impact wrench. To mount the saw hole, place the adapter plate over the two lock and right holes of your choice. Then press the lock and right anchors into the holes. Press down firmly while tightening the anchors as tight as you can by hand. Now you can put the scabbard into the bracket. It's a tight fit by design and you'll see why in a moment. Here you can see that the angle on the adapter plate is less than 90 degrees to keep it parallel with the rear of the ROPS frame. This is to give a comfortable margin between the bolt heads and a rear windshield if you have one. Also the scabbard is slightly wedged into the bracket to ensure it stays tight against the adapter plate to minimize wiggle. Once you have the saw hall mounted, all you have to do is add your saw. The saw hall kit for Polaris lets you carry your chainsaw anywhere on the cargo bed that works best for you. I prefer to mount the saw hall here. It keeps the saw readily available, but out of the way of my tool holders. Now you can mount it to the outside like this, but I really don't recommend that because it leaves your chainsaw sticking out. And if you're going through the woods and you forget about this extra clearance, you could have a bad day. After installation, I take the saw hall and my chainsaw for a test ride over some of the roughest sections of my trails. It stays nicely put with some occasional rattling, which you can hear with my Quiet Ranger EV, but it probably wouldn't be noticeable with a noisier gas model. So here are the pros and cons I see for the saw hall kit for Polaris. It is extremely well made with the toughest chainsaw scabbard I have seen and a quarter inch thick steel adapter plate. It takes up almost no space in the cargo bed. It keeps your saw out of harm's way using most any of the lock and right holes in the cargo bed. It's easy to get your chainsaw in and out of the scabbard, yet it holds the chainsaw securely even when traveling over rough terrain. On the con side, it is a significant investment when you add the additional cost of lock and right anchors. The maximum scabbard length is currently 20 inches, but longer scabbards will be offered soon. In the meantime, you might consider saw hauls kits for ROPs and man lifts. It may rattle slightly while going over rough terrain. Well, there you have it. I hope this video has helped you decide if the Saw Hall Complete Kit for Polaris Rangers is right for you. It's certainly a good fit for me. If this video has been helpful, then please give it a like and leave a comment below on what you like or don't like about this particular solution for carrying your chainsaw, or tell me how you carry your chainsaw on your UTV. 
If you like what you see on this channel, I hope you'll subscribe. And if you want to know when I post new videos, then click that little bell. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.